One thing that we need to understand is, first of all, that the Islamic slave trade was never centralized. It was, there was not a place where uh, slavery and the laws of slavery uh, were passed upon or, or were, were, were conducted by. Slavery was done by uh, independent merchants pre pre predominantly. Well, you can bring the evidence to disprove me. It was done predominantly by uh, 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 Islamic merchants or, 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 or noblemen. It was not a, a, a state-funded, state-focused uh, enterprise like, for example, uh, we see with the bull uh, that was passed in, in, the, in the 15th century by Pope Nicholas V, who passed legally, he passed legally a bull allowing King Alfonso V of Portugal to go to Africa, state-sanctioned, religiously sanctioned, to go to Africa and enslave the people. Can I reply? You will not find something similar like that in Islamic Can I reply? History. You will find that there are merchants and noblemen who engage in the slavery. Can I reply? No, this is the last thing I'm wait, saying. Wait, 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 wait. That's wait, the last wait, wait. thing I'm saying. No, bro, you've no, been no. talking a while. You and let me to reply. Well. Let, let, me, let me to let me finish. Let, let, let me talk. Let, let me just reply me, to no, this. because am going to walk away. Right. Let me finish. The, right. Land on your point. Yeah. Don't go on for another 10 minutes. I won't. Right, go on. I promise. No. I need to reply to this. You so just you, lied to everybody. So, yeah. You just well, lied to everybody. We're going to bring the Googles and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just lied to everybody. Okay. Now. Talking about emancipation, the same way there is a realization and acknowledgement for slavery, I would call it acknowledgement for slavery in the Islamic text, there's also a, a great, a great, great, great motivation on an individual level to free slaves. This is answering your question. Islam has a philosophy inbuilt in the religion that freeing slaves is the highest thing that can you I, can. Can I reply now? So that's a great motivation. Can I reply now? There's a great motivation for people to free slaves. Can I reply now? I can bring so so firstly, I'm just going to blow out of this water the idea that it, slavery was never centralised. Get your phones out and Google the word Janissary. Slavery was so centralised within the Islamic system that they built entire armies out of slaves. Go and look at the Mamluks. The Go and exactly the Ottomans and the Janissaries. He literally just lied to all of you, and the reason why he did it is because he knows lie, the lie. more the more the reason why he did it is not because he doesn't know about the Janissaries, because we've had this conversation with him before. I I've used the example of the Janissaries before. He knows about the Janissaries, but he is saying that to you because he's hoping none of you will go and check. But the reality is, the reality is, if you Google the word Janissaries, you will learn about the plight of Christian children that were kidnapped from their families, brutalized, and turned into a personal slave army of the Caliph. He lied to you when he said it wasn't centralized. Why do we know? Because there were slave markets in virtually every major Islamic town and city publicly selling slaves. Do you honestly think that that could be allowed if the government wanted to suppress it? Of course not. But the reason why you could find slave markets in every Islamic town and city throughout every Islamic caliphate for the last 1,400 years and the only group in our entire world that still today is practicing slavery where I can go and buy a black child the less than a McDonald's is in the Islamic world, in Khartoum, in North Sudan, in Malawi, and other places in North Africa. The only group, the only group, ladies and gentlemen, that have tried recently to re-establish slavery are Muslims. ISIS tried to re-establish slavery in the Middle East. They were doing a practice that Muslims have done for 1400 years. Do not believe the lies you have just heard. The obfuscating of the fact that the Quran permits slavery. Now he pointed out that we Christians have our own bad history with slavery. And I concede that point. Not even going to dispute it. He's absolutely right. But we Christians also have a long history of fighting against slavery. I'll give you examples from antiquity, from the Roman period, so between the years 100 
to 400 AD, Christians were fighting against slavery. Saint Melania herself freed 8,000 slaves. Saint Ovidius of Gaul freed 500 slaves. Saint Chromatius, a Roman prefect under Diocletian who persecuted the church. No, 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 I'm, I'm finishing. Let me, I will talk, let me talk. I let you speak, I let you speak, let me speak. Let me speak, let me speak, let me speak. Under Diocletian, 1,400 year, uh, 1,400 slaves. Hermes, a prefect under Emperor Trajan, set free 1,200 slaves. Remember, we Christians were doing this as a minority, as a persecuted people, not as the people in power. We were doing these releasing of slaves as persecuted Christians. Saint Augustine encouraged the clergy under him to free slaves. Saint Constantine said that if you killed a slave, or sorry, if you kidnapped someone to make them a slave, you would receive the death penalty. So right from the very beginning of Christianity, and he doesn't want to listen to these points because it contradicts the narrative. It contradicts the narrative that he wants to push on genuine people who want to assume goodwill. But the reality is, the reality is, Muhammad bought and sold slaves. Muhammad traded two black slaves for an Arab one. He gave a slave as a gift to his own daughter, a human being as a gift. Now notice they're rattled now. They wanted me to be quiet, but notice how they're interrupting. Notice how they're interrupting because they're rattled, because they know that this exposes what they're saying. And I will bring the hadith the next time I speak. But, but did Jesus own slaves? Is Jesus our example? Now. I